Ano po masasabi niya? Ay, ito ang sinasabi nila yung unity. Ito talaga ang mensahe na unity ng nampanya sila. At uh, ito na nangyayari ngayon po sa House of Representatives. Nakakaisa po ang House of Representatives uh, behind the uh, incoming administration. At ito para sa ano, susukan sa kabuhayan ng lahat ng Pilipino. So we are looking forward to working together, banding together, in helping um, uh, the incoming administration in its spirit, its message, its vision of the United Philippines. Sino magiging po yung postponement ng uh, barangay election? Ayun po, hinay po ng mga barangay chairpersons no? na na-meet natin dun sa maligat ng barangay. So we shall consider that. Kaya ma, if that will be taken up, dapat immediately. Kaya disyembre na po ang ano, uh, barangay election. So those will be one of the uh, items uh, in our priority agenda for it to prosper prior to it becoming work. So, dapat uh, you know, uh, lagay din natin yan sa priority list of uh, under consideration. Kaya anong magiging benefit kung mag-postpone po yung barangay? Uh, Unang-una, makakaroon tayo ng savings na 8.141 billion pesos that we can deploy for the COVID response and for the economic stimulus, the ayuda, and all that the country needs, especially those that are suffering from the pandemic. But uh, more importantly, um, uh, we are trying to make sure that uh, the priority legislation of um, uh, the incoming president, president-elect um, uh, ABM will be aided and um, uh, supported with the uh, measures that will uh, allow him to pursue his agenda. Sir, so, you can ask him to well, actually, um, uh, he has a host of uh, no, uh, priority measures before him. Uh, we have not formally um, uh, sat down on this. Um, uh, as you know, uh, he has to be formally proclaimed. In fact, sa akin po, um, uh, natutuwa po ako, nagagala po, at malang karangalan na the major political parties in Congress are supporting our um, uh, speakership bid so that um, we can already, even before the SONA, already start working. In fact, um, uh, we can already start drafting all of these um, uh, bills and measures even before we convene on July 25 no? as the 19th Congress. But even prior to that, we still have our legislative work for the 18th Congress as a majority leader. We still have to face up to our constitutional task to canvas and to proclaim our president and vice president-elect. So we will convene on May 23, and we hope that within a week's period, we would already have proclaimed our president and our vice president for the ensuing administration. Sir, sure, you mentioned earlier na dapat magkaroon na ito parang bayanihan and napanggit po na parang bayan bang bagong muli. Ano po yung dapat? Oh, well, that's just because um, uh, the president's initials are BBM. Uh, We've been ano, um, uh, approached by some folks, oh, gawin mo lang, ano, um, uh, hindi sa bayanihan na lang, uh, gawin mo BBM, um, bayan bangon muli na bill, uh, a stimulus package no, that will allow um, uh, the incoming president to harness the resources available to him during um, uh, this um, uh, closing period of um, uh, 2022 and address uh, the measures that are needed for the uh, pandemic, hopefully endemic stage of this COVID uh, no, uh, issue. And of course, um, uh, to harness whatever remaining resources to stimulate the economy and to reinvigorate it for the better of all. Sir, what are the congressmen now that you are speaker? Well, we're looking for a united and a very, very strong uh, 19th Congress. Um, in unity, there is strength, as they say. That means we will have the political will to do what is right by the Filipino people, by the Filipino people. We have to address the needs of all Filipinos and we will be the house of the people. And that unity is something that we can be very proud of. And uh, when we are all happy, working hard together, we can achieve everything that we need to. Last question, Paul, last question. We will still have to reorganize the house. Thank you so much.